Hey, how's it going? It's Father's Day weekend. I thought it's, I would just come on here. It's Saturday. How you doing? Welcome to my apartment. This place is very temporary. Um, although I've been here over a year and I would like to talk about today self-awareness. So let's get into that. Self-awareness is about acknowledgement and realization. So realizing who you are and acknowledging who you want to be. And I put the description as if you are feeling successful and you want to transport that, transfer that into physical manifestation, then please join me today and we're gonna like go right into it. Okay, so again, we are transferring our success to reality which is physical manifestation ourselves the things that we see around us so you always want to just start with your hands together and i'm going to take these sandals off because they're not very comfortable right now okay so yes yeah, so if you want to get grounded then barefoot is always the best So right now we're centering and grounding, which is acknowledging. So let's start with the basic keyword, self-awareness. We're acknowledging self and we're balancing. We're just like balancing our energy. Okay, so what we're doing is, hi everybody, wow, thank you, 268 people, all my favorite numbers. If you feel what you've done in your life is successful, then get in touch with it and then stand up. If you cannot stand up, you may sit down. I was doing these sitting down earlier and I was doing them for the past two days. I'm calling it a victory stance. So first you're standing up and you're aware of yourself and then you realize. So you're realizing, then you're acknowledging. So again, put your hands together and put your feet out like a few feet, like shoulder width. And then just reach up. So I'm gonna take my glasses off for this. Not necessary to wear these glasses at all. Cause I could see you fine. So again, the legs are a little wider than shoulder length. And you're just standing here and you're just thinking about the word self-awareness, thinking about the words realizing, and thinking about the words acknowledgement. And you're just putting your arms together like this, your hands together, and just put your elbows out, hands flat together, and just raise up but do it a little bit at a time like i did some over there and now i'm doing this so raise up you know who taught me this my grandma <laughs> my mom's mom so you reach and you just hold And now 
down just in the flying position. And it feels so good because it's a total opposite of everything that you've been doing. Unless you're flying on a daily basis and then do the opposite, which is contracting in and moving, always moving, right? So always doing something. And we want to reverse that strain. Therefore, we get our bodies into another position. I call it stretcher size. I've been doing it since I'm a little kid because I saw my mom and, you know, her, she, her mom taught her and just, I've been doing this. I'm just so glad that I could share it with you because you wouldn't believe the relief that it brings. It's physical and mental relief, okay? And it actually balances the two together and you don't feel pain after. You feel very limber and relaxed. Your circulation is moving properly. So let's go back into the victory stance. You ready? Okay. You're standing with your legs at your shoulders position, like two, three, four feet, depends on how tall you are. And you just start reaching up. If you feel dizzy, please stop and just come back and do what you were doing and relax. And so if you are okay or you feel like you're losing your balance, then don't do it. Have somebody stand there with you and give you a, like a guard, you know, like a spot. You know, when you're working out and you need a spot, like somebody to spot you. So if you feel like that there's potentially that you're not going to be able to hold your balance, then don't do it. Okay, so just stand and reach up. And you could look up, you could reach up, you could look up. Or you could just look straight and then you could put your arms down. When they get tired, you put them down by your side in the flying position. That wall's sort of in my way right there. I'm like, <sighs> so everything's fluid and it moves slow. You put your hands together and you look up. You point them up and you like arch your back a little bit just to use your buttocks to hold your balance. So squeeze, squeeze your butt cheeks together and it will hold your spine in place. So again, hands together, get your balance. Like just now I like, I keep adjusting my balance. So right now you're like balancing with mother earth and the universe and you're going to feel a sensation of balance between your body and your mind and then you will start to move physically in different positions to gain your balance because nobody said we have to stand like this like you know it feels okay when you're out and about in public you're just walking around but when you're stretch exercising your body and your mind, you're opening up the balance because like on a tripod, if you have the legs further apart, like the three legs, that's why it's called tripod, there's three. And if there's the legs, the more further apart, the more stable on a tripod. But we have two legs, so just imagine how more stable that we need to become, especially when we're stretching, working out. Now you want to get your stance. And now put your hands in like the position, like as if somebody said, put your hands up, <laughs> right? So you're like, put your hands up, you know, but halfway there was like right here. So just imagine you're basically facing the front of whatever you're looking at so if you're looking at a wall then if if you're standing like this 
then you should be able to walk up to the wall and go flat, <laughs> go flat right into the wall, right? Here, let me show you. Now you can do some shoulder shrugs. You see how flat I was when I walked up to the wall? I was like flat. Dong. Now, if you are feeling successful and you want to get into the victory stance, these are the warm ups. If you feel victorious, then you can keep going. Your body will tell you. And you can just, your body does speak to you. And it tells you if it's comfortable or not. So you could do round, slow movements. Now you're doing a sun. And now you are doing a squat, doing a squat. From this position, If you're doing a reach, go straight up, fingers together, straight up. Now bring those arms to your ears. If you can't do it, if you can only go like this far, then you're way ahead of the game. So just hang in there and just put those arms up and up and up and up and up and up and you can move your neck like rotation like a slow rotation you notice I'm looking up and then down see and I could feel that I'm very limber but not limber enough so thank God I'm doing these today okay so let's keep going so I feel this channel here there's a channel and it's where your neck connects to your trapezius Your neck connects to this, boom, boom. And there's an insertion here. It's a channel. And it like, if, you, if you're properly circulated and doing stretching and getting massage, then your channel is flowing. So that means the blood is flowing through it perfectly and there's no contraptions like you know I don't want to get too much into that but let's just talk about the fact that the muscles are separated from each other they're not like joined together from tension and therefore the channels in between each muscle are flowing peacefully <laughs> Okay, so the victory stance. So you feel successful in anything that you do. It doesn't have to be what you thought it was gonna be. Just you reflect and you look and you look at yourself and look at your life and you're looking at your success. So success can be business and or personal. And if you feel successful, then you are. You just manifest it and it keeps rewarding it keeps filling up with 
blood. <laughs> it's the blood of your success. So your health is your life. Without that, you have no life. You, you work hard, you do things, you think a lot, and you do things, right? And you reverse it. You reverse it with this. I'm squatting and reaching out in the zombie position. Because tell me one chore or one activity that you do in your daily life where you have to go like this. You know, unless you're like a diver, then you are not doing this most likely in your daily life, unless you're stretchercising, unless you're stretching and exercising at the same time. A lot of what I show is stretching, but I do actually get into the exercising part big time, and you've seen me in the park in some of my stretchercise videos. I don't get too vigorous on this patio but i have which is i don't know i don't i don't know i don't think they're made for that so but it's okay to like stretch so let's get into some more so yesterday the day before we did the legs and today we're doing the upper body i wanted to fill you in and make sure that you're doing both so that's really cool whoever's doing them please let me know tell me how you feel and let's keep going so let's, let's incorporate, because the other day we did legs and we had a little bit of upper body in there. So today, let's bring in some leg, some legs. <laughs> okay, so basically um, just bring that, hold the side of the wall, and this is perfect, there's like a ledge here, and just use the other arm and bring that knee towards your chest. And now switch sides. Bring, hold the side of the wall with a shoulder that's closest to the wall. Use the furthest away arm to grab the furthest away leg and pull it up into your chest. Okay, well, I'm gonna uh, go inside and here, I'll bring you with me for a second. Let's see. Okay. Thanks for watching and actually, let me see, where's my water? Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, I know where it is. Okay, so that's fine. I just, I started sweating out there. Let's see, what else? If you have any suggestions, please put it in the comments because I'm also a student of life and I always want to learn things too. We all teach each other. That's the beauty of people. Ooh, that wind feels so good on my back. Oh, oh yeah. Let's see. I wanna like wrap it up because today was more about victory stance. And so I feel like that we haven't reached our full victory yet. So let's keep going. I just wanted to get out of the sun for a second. All right, so it's arms together, right? 
hands together. Arms up and out. Look up. Everything's slow and fluid. So when you're moving your arms, you're just rolling them. You're not jerking them like that. You're rolling everything. When you're moving your neck, so we need to do some neck. So let's look over our left shoulder and hold. And roll to the center. You could do these in your chair. So look over your shoulder, hold, and then to the center. Look down. This is like easier to put your legs together for some reason. So look down and then sort of bend down. That's gonna be the second half of the victory stance. So there's two victory stances, believe it or not. So there's one which is you're acknowledging, you're realizing it's self-awareness, and that's what you're concentrating on, those three phrases, self-awareness, realizing, and acknowledging, and then reaching, and giving yourself that time. So guess what you're doing right now? I bet you, you guys already have a sense for it. You're accepting. You're accepting your success. You're realizing your success. You're acknowledging your success. And you are doing a victory stance. You are reaching up and you are matching your body to your success. You're transferring from your brain into your body your success. So now I'm going to like put my hands, arms in the flying position and I'm going to look over my shoulders. And I'm going to hold. And I'm putting my shoulders back and my arms back as far as I can, yet keeping them level in the flying position. Level meaning up here and not like down here. Levels up here. So I got my stance of my feet more than the width of my shoulders. That way I'm balanced. And now I'm reaching up on the sides in the flying position. And now I'm looking over my right shoulder and I'm looking, 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 and I'm holding. I'm holding over the right shoulder on my neck. And now I'm rolling my neck to the center and then back to the other side to the left and now i'm looking over my shoulder and i'm holding and now i'm rolling my neck back to the center and now i'm slowly lowering my arms wow that was good i could do more so I'm gonna hang on for one more just in case anyone's actually doing these with me and you really wanna go to the next level because you'll start to feel these channels opening up back here. And your shoulder blades will be like separated from your neck instead of on top of your neck, which is very stressful if it's like all bunched together. And then you'll be able to do shrugs really easy like this. So a shrug is more like you're bringing your shoulder up to your ear instead of, you're not rolling right now like this. This is rolling. You're not rolling, you're shrugging. Shrug, 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 shrug. 
And look what happens to your arms when you shrug. Okay, now you're rolling, so roll back and hold. And now keep following through with that roll instead of reversing. Okay, roll, full rolls. Okay, now reverse it forward. So full rolls forward. Hold that. So what if you walked around in public like this? Yo, what's up? <laughs> right? Some people do because they don't want to get caught like this, you know. So I'm somewhere in the middle because I'll tell you why. It's because I stretch your size and because I'm able to because like I said when those shoulders and those neck muscles and the whole blade and everything the back it's all connecting when they are loose and all those channels around them you should be able to take your finger and go around each one of your muscles in your body and feel no knots and just a lot of fluidity going on right because we're blood water running through our veins, running through our arteries, and our glands are functioning. Oh, I just noticed that my uh, healing stone, I put it on backwards. So that's cool. Maybe it's been directly healing me and us. Okay, so let's go back to the muscles. And when we're going like this, right? These rolls. And we just did the neck where we were like, rolling and looking over our shoulders. And clearing those channels. Okay, and now we're doing the shrugs, right? Shrug, shrug. Shrug. So this is opening up those channels around the neck here and around the muscle. It's just, and then you could, there doesn't even have to have a rhythm to it. You could literally just do a shrug and then a roll right after. And you'll start feeling what your body needs. So you'd be shrugging and rolling and shrugging and rolling, right? <laughs> now look. It's almost like a swing, like a hinge on a swing. So my shoulder blades are not connected to my neck or my back anymore, like they were. Because I've been really, first of all, I got a really intense full body massage and that was like, uh. So, you know, it was a really good massage, I gotta say. Maybe the best one I've ever had. And luckily that person is nearby so I could access that service. And that's in, um, you know, like a spa. And so what else? Then I get my stretcher size in about five to six times a week, pretty much every day. Like, but sometimes it's only not enough. It's like a minute or two, but it's more than, it's better than not. And I'll just like get, luckily this living room is really, really huge. So I'll show you. I'm in the process of buying another place to live. And so I'm just, you know, everything, there's a little bit of clutter. To me, it's not clutter because it's all like loved ones, gifts that I have waiting for and comfort. So it might look like clutter in the video, but it's actually very organized. And uh, actually I just pulled out a pull of leggings that I want to give my mom and they are uh, kind of random because all that stuff is house stuff and then there's a pair of leggings, but there's also a lot of natural soaps, you know, all the soaps I use. And um, so I pulled them out today because I'm gonna be taking a vacation by the beach and I don't know when. And let's see, it might be soon. It depends on if she needs me for anything because I'm able to manage to get her everything she needs, like services. And you know, she's like, my mom is like, 
like a sister. Like she, if she was standing here next to me right now, you'd probably recognize her from in 2020 and part of 21, maybe even a little of 22 when I had my mom on my page here and also YouTube at Corinne Virtual Coach. Also, I'm on TikTok. Hey, and thanks for the stars. I love you guys. I'm sending healing, loving energy. Thank you for supporters. I'm actually going to go do your own stretch size session. Like, sort of, it's kind of like a guided meditation, but it includes physical, which is like, <sighs> I just took a deep breath, right? I don't think I would have been able to get that relaxation if it weren't for some of the you know, techniques that I've been doing today and just almost every day. So I'm really glad I could share that. I feel so super blessed. I, I feel like superstar manifestation energy where I can live the lifestyle I want. And as long as I stay true to my crafts, then I can transfer it onto the internet and beautiful people like you can watch it and be exposed to it and open to it. And I hope that if you're able to try any of these, then, you know, even if it's just sitting in the chair and just doing some of these rolls or, but if the chair arms are in the way, then I don't recommend it because the arms have to be free, you know? And it's okay, like, if you can't move too much and you have, like, limited mobility, because I'll tell you why. It's the whole transfer of the energy. It's the way that you're feeling, which is if you feel like you've accomplished a lot in your life, then you can reward yourself for that like pet yourself on the back. <laughs> I said pet. In my case, it's pet because I'm a lion. And <laughs> so, but yeah, pat yourself on the back. And if you relate to animal medicine, then pet yourself. So it's good to be able to acknowledge, like if you weren't watching the front of this video, it's self-awareness, it's realization, it's acknowledgement. And those transfer from the brain to the physical because it makes you want to dance, right? So like I said, even if you have limited mobility, you'll still benefit from it because you're acknowledging and that's being grateful to yourself. I feel like I want to like tell myself that I love myself right now. And if you want to tell yourself that you love yourself right now, then let's just do that together. So I love you. <laughs> I just said that to my higher self. That's all a part of forgiving yourself, opening yourself up to miracles. That's the gift that I have to give you here today. And I can tell you that my three mottos are persistence, diligence, consistence. Cons consistency, being vigilant and Diligent, oh yeah, don't forget vigilant, but diligent and basically persisting consistently. <laughs> I don't know how many people are here because I took my glasses off, but I can pretty much see. Um, let me see. Okay, I want to shout out two names. Jorge, mwah, you always seem to make it on my live. Thank you. And Murad, I love you, Habibdi. That's cute. Thank you. I love you too. I love you guys. Thank you. And I'll catch you in my next video. Have a great weekend. Oh, I'm going to be coming on for all the fathers here. So I'll check you tomorrow. Have a good one. Be safe.